into this are um, absolutely beautiful. It does have a slight scent to it. Um, I know some people aren't a fan, some people are. So right now it doesn't bother me. I don't know what it's gonna be like when I try it on, but let me share the others. No, you're not seeing things. Yes, the lipstick part is jacked up. That sucks, dude. I was trying to be as careful as I possibly could opening these up. And uh, I will be doing swatches, but I just want to show you guys um, just my initial reaction, I guess, to the color. Uh, I think it's beautiful. It's showing up a little bit more on the orangey side. It's definitely not that orange. It's uh, a lot more on the mauve side, but it is a beautiful color. And I do think that it will suit my skin tone um, very well. Yeah, this one, um, I'm not too crazy about the color. It's definitely coming uh, across a lot more orange on camera. It is not that orange. Um, it's just, I don't think this is a color that ends up, that will end up suiting me. I think it might end up looking a little too funky. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I want to keep it or not. It might work, but... Might is not one of my favorite words. All right, this color is absolutely stunning. It is so hard to capture. That's why I'm trying to hold it up as close as possible. This is the only matte one that I got, and I think it is just insanely gorgeous. Uh, the color is actually showing up uh, pretty close to what it is in real life. It definitely is more of like a deep, deep brick red, almost like an ox blood. Uh, to be honest, it kind of reminds me of the Dior book tote that I have, but I think it is stunning. Oh, obviously. I'm keeping I'm keeping that funky orange one <laughs> um, and uh, I just wanted to swatch them on both places you know just just to give you a little bit more uh, of an idea of the color and they glide on very easily very very creamy I didn't have any issues with the matte one either because you know how like sometimes matte lipsticks um, they get caught as you're trying to put them on your lips um, but yeah there we go they're beautiful they have so many colors to pick from um, but I decided to go for the the ones that I feel would really end up working out for me the best, of course, that beige one, um, this guy. Is it this one? I don't know. I don't even know which one it is. That thing, <laughs> I'm stuck with it. <laughs> I'm stuck with it. So <laughs> let's hope that it does end up working out. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then tomorrow um, to swatch the bomb. Um, it's at the very end right there, but you guys can't even see it. So I didn't even bother doing it, but I am so excited for these. Uh, we'll see if they're worth the price point. I don't know. Um, I have read that some people are just blown away by them. They're, they're saying that they're the best lipsticks they've ever had. Other people are like super underwhel underwhelmed with them. Um, but the scent, I really, really like the way that the scent is. It's very light. It's not nauseating, but again, it could be different once, you know, once you have it on your face and if it's something that you're constantly putting on that, if that ends up causing a headache or what have you. Anyways, I'm rambling, but, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and uh, yeah, lipstick junkies everywhere. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Hot Ones. Hot Ones is a show on YouTube. The channel is called First We Feast. It is one of my favorite things to watch. And uh, they do have their own hot sauces. They actually have a few to pick from, but this is their starter pack. Their starter pack consists of the classic hot sauce, Los Calientes, and the Last Dab Triple X. So think of it like um, mild, medium, and extra hot. And I am just beyond excited that I was able to get my hands on this because it's always sold out. Um, I, I don't know what to expect, kind of. I know people always end up crying when it comes to this one. I don't think that's gonna happen to me. I know that sounds super, super cocky. That's not the way that I'm trying to come across. I just have a pretty high tolerance for spicy food. Um, to me, I, like, I love spicy food. Food doesn't make sense to me if it's not if it's not hot or if it doesn't have some type of heat to it. I know that's not for everybody, but it is my type of jam. But I just had to share because I am stoked.